grade, Senator Kennedy of Louisiana is recognized. Madam Secretary, I have watched you for years, even before I came to Washington. And uh, oh, excuse me, no, it's okay. when I have time, I do. I, I, I enjoy reading your speeches. Um, I think you're what cool looks like. Um, you're, you're a good sport to go out every day and try to defend Bidenomics. It's like trying to defend a, uh, a fungal infection. Uh, Bidenomics is really just paying more to live worse, isn't it? I certainly wouldn't agree with that characterization. Um, Bidenomics first tried to address the pain that households were experiencing because of the pandemic and to help them survive it. Um, small businesses, households, people who had lost their jobs to prevent the kind of scarring we saw after the financial crisis. And as the economy began to recover and we quickly, of all advanced countries that experienced the pandemic, no country has done better than the United States in quickly having a labor market recovery, resuming growth, and we have the largest real wage increases of any advanced country. And then medium term, um, Bidenomics is uh, focused on helping middle class families lead better lives, address the problems that they have, well, create could, jobs could in areas. I interrupt you, Madam Secretary, because I've only got five minutes. Um, good try. These high prices are here to stay, aren't they? These high, let, me, let me amend that, Madam Secretary. These high prices caused by Bidenomics are here to stay, aren't they? Well, the high, high prices were not caused by Bidenomics. Um, we suffered a pandemic that resulted in severe dislocations. Yes, ma'am, but if I could ask you, they're here to stay, aren't they? I don't expect the level of prices to go down, but the rate of inflation... So they're here to stay? Well, some prices will be higher than they were before well, the pandemic and will stay higher, but wages have risen considerably, and the pace of price increases has now receded. Um, over the last six months, the f f measure of inflation yeah. the Fed focuses on has been running exactly but, at But, but if your wages... And you wages are going up. you don't get a pay raise, you're screwed. I mean, here's what... There's a difference between disinflation and deflation. Y'all talk about disinflation, which I'm, I'm happy to have. Disinflation means... Inflation is going down. It means prices are rising less rapidly than they were. But that's a far cry from deflation, which means which means the level of these high prices caused, caused by Bidenomics are, are here to stay. Here's what Jay Powell just said on February 4th. He said he was asked the question, inflation is one thing, prices are another, and I wonder if there's any reason to believe that people will see the prices of things decline. And here's what Chairman Powell said. So the prices of th some things will decline. Others will go up. But we don't expect to see a decline in the overall price level. That doesn't tend to happen in economies, except in very negative circumstances. He's talking about a recession. It'll well, take a recession to get these prices down. More. Well, we don't have to get the prices down. Because we don't? Wages, wages are going up, and um, a, a metric that is worth knowing is that the median American house worker but, but let me um, stop is you able I'm get cut off. You don't think we need to get these prices down? You think it's okay that bacon's up 20% under President Biden? Chicken's up 23.5%? Coffee's up 30%? Gas is up 44%? New cars and trucks are up 20% because people can't afford it. That's used cars because people can't afford a new car. It, they're up 24% under Bidenomics. You don't think we need to get these prices? Wait, wages are also up, 
and wages are up They're not more. up 24 percent. They're not well, up 27 well, percent. They're not up 23. They're not well, what, up 31. I'm, I'm sorry, but what is... People are really getting what, good at barely getting by because of Bidenomics. Look, American households have many pressures on their budgets, and um, President Biden is devoted to doing what we can as an administration, whether it's health care costs, um, insulin co-pays, um, energy costs, to getting these prices down and to helping American households um, afford a decent um, middle-class life. But um, what is true is that the median worker in the United States, if you compare today with 2019, can buy the same basket of goods with $1,400 left over to save or spend. So Americans, on average, are better off in spite of the fact that the level of prices is higher. Thank you, Senator Kennedy. Good try, Madam. Senator Menendez, New Thank Jersey's you. recognized.